But we started, we started, sorry, I started <laughs> this blog with a little group of friends uh, about a year ago. And um, to start off the new year 2010, um, we thought we'd do a little video blog. Yeah. Um, as a one-off, see how it goes. And if it's popular, I think we'll run it again. Um, but so this is the first sort of blue video blog we've done. And we hope you like it. One was um, being asked to dress as a mermaid. John's wonderful ideas, one of them which was Janice should dress as a mermaid for the kids. Sorry, Janice, we're, we're doing highlights. <laughs> so, yeah, one of them was being asked that to was, dress as a mermaid. That was, very funny. Um, the highlight key partner conference and the 110 conference were great highlights for me. Um, I just think they, in the toughest of years with our brokers, they highlighted that the strength of the relationships are still there um, and that those relationships are still working for us and we'd come through some really tough times yeah. together and those relationships are stronger than ever. Highlight has to be the rebrand, obviously. We rebranded. And if anybody watching this, anybody watching this blog doesn't know, we're, we're Aviva and we changed our name from Norris Union. Well, shame on you, really. Shame on the audience. If you're watching audience, shame on you. And, I, and actually, I think you can sense that the whole of the UK population knows we're Aviva and Norris Union is, yeah. is packed into the history of insurance companies. Mine was um, the Gingergate episode at the 110 conference. That was my funniest oh. moment of all the things and all the videos and I all do the. Remember, actually. And, and the actually. Gingergate. <laughs> Gingergate. <laughs> we heard that Janice actually, you got rid of him because you heard on the grapevine that John was ginger. <laughs> all the best, John. My biggest hope for 2010 is that Aviva recovers from my departure <laughs> and can carry on being the thrusting, successful organisation that it has become in the last year since it's rebranded. So that's definitely my hope for 2010. My biggest hope for 2010 is that the optimism I feel now, the first week in January, sort of comes to fruition. Um, not just for Aviva, but actually for generally... Um, in the world outside in the economy and that we start to see some some real traction and improvement because that affects lots of people's lives and now i love this time of year because it's actually a year of optimism part of the year that's when you can be optimistic around the rest of the year so that's what i'm hoping for and obviously that we recover from john's divorce because yeah, yours was a really serious hope wasn't it? it was really quite deep and profound about optimism oh, about the world because... recovery mine was some little glib comment about yes, that's because i'm staying <laughs> right. true 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 yeah, we won't be quite so colorful with john not around but i don't i think pretty much brokers can expect the most important thing is our relationship with them and that will just continue with. There's no doubt that 2009 was a tough year, 2010 might be tough as well, but it, we're in it together and that, that's what they'll, they'll see in 2010. I don't see that changing. I see more of, you know, the same working together to get through the tough times and, and hopefully that's what they'll say they've seen this year. What I miss most is the fact that he makes me laugh so much. Um, when bad days are, are bad, there's always, I could always have You've had a lot of bad five days. minutes <laughs> therapy. <laughs> and it'll always make me laugh. <laughs> what I miss least. What I miss least. There isn't anything. To recover, no. so we don't know when we need to say. I do annoy her when I chase her up on stuff. She hates being chased up. Mm, I do, yeah. So whoever's... It's email traffic generation yeah. as well. You generate yeah, a lot of traffic. she hates being chased up on stuff. How are you doing on that? I'll tell you when I tell you. <laughs> Thanks. That's... I don't sound like that. No, no, a bit deeper. <laughs>
about Janice. I think I'll definitely miss um, the friendship, actually, because whilst we work together, you w I don't think, I'd like Janice May to disagree, you would, we, wouldn't, we don't work together as, um, I, I tend to be like that anyway, but I can be like that more with Janice than probably anybody else. We tend not to work, although she's effectively in my team or whatever, I'm the, I was the sound one. it's not like that. No. We just, it's just, it is, as the blog says, it's Janice and John. I'll miss the gossip. And in the insurance world, in the broker world, I love, I because I was new to it in 2006, I love the little bits of gossip. Yeah. And you get Insurance Times ringing me up, or Post Mag, I'm ringing them up for some off the record gossip, or I'd ring them and give them off the record gossip, or the, you know, the press office and individual brokers ring me up and say, have you heard about this? What about that? What do you think? I, li I like that stuff. Yeah, it's I like, do more like to, in the broker world. It's, oh, it's fantastic in the broker world because it's all about personalities and individuals. Yeah. So there's always some little tittle-tattle thing going on, yeah. either about me or Janice or Regal or David or, or Towergate or small broker, big broker, or all those things. I miss that. I miss that definitely. No, I never make New Year's resolutions. I was do, fine. do you? No, never. Why not? I just, I just find... Do you give you some? Oh, so Mate. Hello, I mean, look at your appraisal. You've got loads of things to be doing. <laughs> I would always make one or two. And then I would always, if I make one, I would do it. Otherwise, what's the point? And my central, re my central resolution is this year is simply make the most of the opportunity in front of me because um, I've never not worked. And I'm not going to work. I'm going to write and fish and stuff. Yeah, so just make the most of it. Don't sit in front of the telly watching the Jeremy Carl show because that is such a waste of a life. And I'll be really angry at myself if that's what I do. Yes, I think this is the last time that I won't be doing a blog anymore. I won't be doing the next video blog. And I think it's an, uh, the apt time to hand over um, the legacy. <laughs> This is an apt time to say the batons change from me to Janice. Thank you. <laughs> There's nothing in it. No. I'm used to that. There's no wise words of wisdom. <laughs> I wasn't just, expecting it. It just says in there it's bloody hard work. <laughs> so good luck. Thanks. So that's it for now. This is the last time that John and I will be doing the first and last video blog together. Um, and if you've got any questions, comments, you liked it, hated it, then, you know, drop us a line or, or give us a call. Yeah. I liked it, actually. I liked it. <laughs> you liked it. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was very good. Oh, right. <laughs> That's my comment. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Forever, yeah. he has to get the last Sh word. Cheerio. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>